Hey, it's Mike from BlindsOnline.com, and I'm going to show you how to install your new uh, classic satin pleated shade. Uh, when you receive your shade and take it out of the box, it's going to look a little something like this, with the cords wrapped around the shade. So just unravel your cords. If you want to take a quick peek at your shade, and this particular one is the classic satin uh, Whisper White. That's the color you've chosen. Uh, the Whisper White has the same color on both sides. It also has a matching aluminum uh, head rail or top rail and bottom rail and a heavy duty cord lock for many trouble free years of operation. Okay, So that's the shade right there. So once you've unpacked the shade, put the shade aside and we're going to ask you to find your mounting brackets. The mounting brackets have also been included with the shade. They come along with the necessary hardware to mount the shade, the screws, etc., etc., uh, and this is what the mounting brackets will look like. They're little white plastic brackets, and these are what we call universal mounting brackets. They're universal because they can be used for either an inside mount or outside mount. Uh, the first type of mount we're going to go through together is the inside mount. Inside mount meaning that we're going to mount the shade on the inside of the window frame. All right. So once you have your bracket in hand and a screw, uh, it will always help if you have a screw gun handy. If you don't, then you can easily always screw these in by hand. All right, And we're going to ask you to take that bracket and place it up into the inside of the window frame, just like I'm doing right now, with the Phillips head screw facing downward, okay, downward toward the floor, and the little pointy part of the bracket facing outward. Uh, I'd also like to uh, align the front of that bracket with the front of the window frame. Now if your window frames are deeper and you like the shades inset a little bit deeper, you can do that. I just prefer to mount mine forward, just like we are today. Once you have the bracket in place, you're going to screw the screw directly through the center hole of the bracket. One screw is fine. Okay, that screw will hold the bracket in place. Make sure that the bracket is straight. Sometimes when you put that screw in, it tends to shift the bracket a little one way or the other. Um, and once that bracket is in place, we're going to do the same thing for the second bracket. All right, we're going to hold the bracket up. And one screw through the center. And our brackets are in place. Okay, so once we have the brackets in place, we're going to grab a hold of the shade, of our pleated shade. We're going to drop the shade down just a bit. Okay, the reason we do that is so that when we place the shade into the brackets, we don't catch any of the fabric in the brackets. All right, because you can pinch the fabric if you don't lower it a bit. Um, and the whole idea of the installation here is going to be inserting the groove that's on the very top of the head rail. There's a front groove right here. And we want to fit that groove into the very pointy portion of the front of the bracket. So what we're trying to do is fit this pointy portion of the bracket into the groove. All right. So bring the shade up to both brackets at the same time and insert the front part of that bracket right into the groove like that. And just hold it in place for now. The, the shade isn't mounted yet, but we're just going to hold it in place. We want to hold it in place because we want to make sure before we actually mount it that we have an even amount of space on the right and left side between the shade and the side of the window. We want it to look nice and even in the window. All right. Once you have it centered and you like the way it looks, go to where the bracket was and just give it a little tap with the back of your hand. Okay, that's going to actually seat the shade in the bracket. All right. Once the shade's been seated in the bracket, it'll stay up by itself, but there is one more step that we'd like you to take. We're going to ask you to come over with a Phillips head screwdriver, lift the shade up, okay, go up underneath and tighten down on those Phillips head screws that we talked about earlier. Okay, just give them a few turns until they're good and tight. All right, so tighten all the brackets up. What that's going to do is secure the shade into the brackets for good. So once you've tightened those screws, that shade isn't going anywhere. All right, your shade is now finished, believe it or not. It's that simple. Okay, you now have completed an inside mount installation for a pleated shade. Now, there is one other step that we'd like you to take, okay, because with each shade, we're going to provide you with a cord cleat for each shade. Now the cord cleat 
uh, should be mounted high enough so that it's away from young children. The whole idea of this clean is to keep the stray away from the kids when you pull the shade up. You'll see the cord will get very long. We don't want the cord dangling on the floor. We don't want any young children uh, to get at it just for safety reasons. Uh, we can easily hang that cord up on the cord cleat like that, and it'll look nice and neat. We'll keep it away from the children, and life is good. All right, so you can mount that cleat either on the window molding or off to the side of the window molding. There's no right or wrong way. It's really up to you wherever you feel comfortable mounting it. All right, so that's really how we would mount our shade as an inside mount, inside the window frame. Now let's say you decided you wanted to mount your shade outside the window frame. You decided, well, I want to mount my frame onto the, my shade onto the window molding, onto the window frame. Uh, we're going to use the same brackets. Okay, remember the brackets were universal, so they can be used for inside or outside. We're going to take the bracket and we're going to bring it up to the molding. And in this case, I'm using Velcro just to make things a little bit easier. You are going to hold your bracket in place. And we recommend pre-drilling the molding so that when you do put screws through these two holes, you don't split and crack the molding, okay? So mark off where the holes will be with a pencil. You can remove the bracket, pre-drill it, and then shoot two screws through those holes, and that'll secure the bracket in place. We'll do the same for the second bracket. Snap the shade in and tighten the Phillips head screws. You'll be finished, okay? The second outside mount installation would be if you decided to mount it up above the window molding. Okay, if we decided to go up above the window molding, we would ask that you order the optional spacer block. Now, there is no additional cost for this, and it is available at checkout as a no-charge option. So, at checkout, specify that you like the spacer block. The spacer block is going to keep the bracket far enough away from the molding so that when you raise and lower your shade, it doesn't interfere with the window molding. Okay, once you've got the spacer block in place, just bring the bracket up to where you'd like it mounted and again drive the screws through the two holes and that will mount your your bracket above the molding. Now if your molding is a little thicker than this and you need multiple spacer blocks then please just uh, request the multiple spacer blocks. Uh, you, and you may also need some longer screws at that point. You may have to go to a local hardware store to get some longer screws. Um, but that's the basic application for outside the molding. Alrighty, and that's how we'll mount the shades, uh, the pleated shades. If you have any additional questions on how to mount pleated shades, uh, feel free to give me a call. I'm Mike from BlindsOnline.com, and thanks for watching.